it's Anna. Bienvenido otra vez a mi canal if you are new here. So as you can already tell by the title, duh, this is going to be another one of my TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul. Actually, I think it's just TJ Maxx and Burlington Go Factory this time. This is stuff, stuff that I picked up when I was visiting my friends not too long ago in Delaware. And like I've said many, many, many times before, that Burlington Coat Factory there in Dover, Delaware is like literally the best thing of life. I'm going to start with some things first that I found at TJ Maxx. I think it was there in the Dover area, but I could be wrong. And we can ignore the obvious and just let it happen. Oh no, everything is falling out of the bag. Everything's falling out right now, but I have my little bag and popcorn container of goodness. And you wanna see what my shirt is? <laughs> I thrifted this like a while ago. This is actually my first time wearing it, so I'm enjoying it. First, obviously we're gonna start with the TJ Maxx, so. I didn't get too much uh, from TJ Maxx recently, but I did pick up two lip products. So the first one is by Lorac. You guys know I love Lorac products. So I picked up the last one of the Pirates of the Caribbean little dual ended things that I needed. So this is just from the Pirates of the Caribbean. Did I already say that? Did I literally just say that? This one is in the color Me Hardy. So this one was the last one that I didn't have yet. Um, this one was only $4.99. It says compare at $8. This is still sealed. Why? I haven't even looked at this at all. I felt totally safe buying these though from TJ Maxx and Marshalls because these are like so hardcore sealed. Thank you, Lorac. The duo ended thing. So you have the lip gloss on one end, right? Her. Oh, and this one isn't shimmery. Like all the other ones were like pretty shimmery or like glittery. This one's just like plain color, matte, uh, matte gloss. And then you have your lipstick on the other side. So this one obviously was untouched, unswatched because it was still totally sealed up. I'm very happy about that. I picked up another lipstick. This one is by Lipstick Queen. I've mentioned it before. I also really, really like Lipstick Queen. It's just some of their stuff is still a little bit pricier for me at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but I try to pick them up whenever I can find some that are like in good condition. This is just the Lipstick Queen. It doesn't say anything special. I don't know. It's in the color float this one was only $7.99 it says compare at $13.50 super pretty I love the packaging of these I don't know why I just think they look professional it's just like a really pretty nude but it has a little bit of a shimmer mixed in so I'm really excited to try this one untouched and swatched it says by poppy on there what does that mean was this like a collection done with someone named poppy not the like weird girl who like only says I'm poppy not her <laughs> You guys, I had to do this. I had to. So I picked up a handful of the Lily Lashes. I know it's this thing going around now since uh, Makeup by PETA mentioned some of the differences in the boxes at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I guess. Uh, for the Lily Lashes, that some of them might be fake. Um, if they're fake, then I'm suing TJ Maxx. Just saying. I picked up a handful of them. I got a couple different styles. These were all $7.99. They say compare at $15. These are just the Lily Lashes. This was for the Sephora collection that she had done in collaboration with them. I'm not sure the original price of them. I think someone actually told me at one point that these were not the $30 that her normal ones are. They're still Lily Lashes for $8. So I'm going to buy them all when I see them. No shame in my TJ Maxx game. I'm going to buy them all guys so I got two in the style Miami Miami I think is some of my one of my favorite ones but I love all of the like design styles of them two in the style Havana this one's a little bit more subtle I like this one because it's like spiky like spaced out ones and this one is actually still in the little plastic I got three in the style Mykonos the Mykonos one is like the most dramatic one it's like so crazy thick and like spiky separatey oh my gosh Love. I'm a psycho person. I am that person buying a million and five lily lashes. Then last few things from TJ Maxx I have in just this little baby TJ Maxx bag. I got three pairs of sunglasses and I'm super excited about these. I got three different pairs of the Key Australia sunglasses. So I am desperately like on the craziest hunt ever for key sunglasses i want every single style i'm trying to own like the entire website because these sunglasses are normally like 60 dollars on their website so when i find them at tj maxx and marshall's i'm just like i'm gonna take all those babies all of them take them home with me so these came with bags uh the nice thing about these some of them had written on the little 
tag that they have a casing to go to the jewelry counter. So if you do find any of these key sunglasses, maybe try to ask if there is a jewelry counter in that TJ Maxx that you're at, if they have the cases for them, if you don't see them out like on the rack. I got this one first. I guess I could put them on, but they're gonna mess up my makeup, so I'm not really trying to do that right now. You're gonna see all the mess in my room, so. I love this one because it has like the tortoise shell design like on the bottom, but this one is in the style Libre. These were only $14.95. They say compare at $25, but I know because I looked them up when I was in the store buying them that some of these were still on websites like Nordstrom Rack or Nordstrom whatever and ASOS for still like $29, $30 and that was their sale price. So these mostly go for anywhere from like 40 to I think like $60 ish on the website. So for $15, that's why I'm trying to grab all of them when I find them. I'm probably going to hate myself when I go to like edit this video and I see my hair. Because I already hate myself for my hair. Oh, I love these so much. They just look like this. They're kind of like an aviator style. I'm trying to not show my entire bedroom, you know, because it's a mess in here. This is in the style Game On. Again, these were only $14.99. Every time I've seen them, they've been only $14.99. It says, again, compare it $25, but these I love. And I know for a lot of their styles, they have multiple colors, so I'm on the hunt for other colors of the same styles that I like. And lastly, for these key sunglasses that I found, I got these. Oh. I love these so much. So here's what they look like. I'm so sorry if you could see the mess in my bedroom. Honestly, it's embarrassing. This one is in the style Cafe Racer. Cafe Racer? I don't know. Again, $14.99. So only $15. These bags though for them are like so weird. You have to like push the sides so that they open. It's really weird. Now onto the stuff from Burlington Coat Factory. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is like kind of super extremely random, but like... I just think it's funny to show you guys, but I picked up one of these like motion sensor lights to put on the outside of my house. You guys know I own my home, so I'm like, I need this, basically. It's motion sensored, but I got this for only $5.99. I don't know the original price that they were trying to get. I can't like take this off. I don't know, but it was only $6, so hopefully I can find a good spot to put this on my house. If I can, I'm super excited for it. Um, I don't know if anyone cares about this. You can let me know in the comments below if you guys don't care about the light that I bought. The only makeup beauty type thing that I found at that Burlington Co. Factory was just this makeup eraser um, in the heart shape. I thought this was super cute when I saw it. So it's, this is the limited edition style because it is in the shape of a heart, I guess. I still haven't opened it yet, obviously. This didn't have a price on it, so they gave it to me for just $1.99. I don't know the original price of these or anything. It literally doesn't have any sticker on it. I guess we can open this now. So it was like totally sealed up. It says removes your makeup with just water. So this is just like the normal makeup removers you know but this is in the shape of a heart wow it kind of looks like the face halos honestly that's literally what it looks like it's a little thing also jeez wow it literally i don't have the face halo i've been really meaning to try those but literally doesn't it look just like it only it's a heart how cute it's super soft and so it says nothing on here it just says makeup eraser i think i actually want to pick up another one of these when i find them i probably won't find it again for only a dollar 99 but this is cute, so we'll see if this works. Give this um, video a thumbs up if you guys wanna see me try this, maybe in one of my TJ Maxx and Marshalls like get ready with me videos. We can see if this thing actually works, yeah? And then I picked up a ton of jewelry from Burlington Coat Factory because I love getting my jewelry from there. So the first thing that I got is just this huge, like obnoxious looking ring. It's by Jessica McClintock. Is that how you say it? It's just huge, ginormous, and obnoxious. This was only $5.99. It says compare at $10. Comparable value is how they say it, $10. I like it. I don't know. It's kind of like a rosy gold. I got this other set of rings. I already took them off of the, the little holder. But this is just by the brand Accent Accessories. This one was $7.99. It says compare at $16. It was actually a set of three rings these again have that same like kind of rose goldy ish color to them but so this is just a set of three kind of see it on my hands here it has like two more like simple looking ones then it has this really big stoned one and they all have like 
fake diamonds on them. Last thing of jewelry that I picked up from Burlington Co. Factory is just this set of rings right here. It's by the brand Carol. So I got this for $5.99. So it's compared at only $12. But I like this because it has a few different rings all kind of mixed in here. It has a whole bunch that kind of have like this really pretty a cool looking like blue almost like water effect kind of like gem on them but I just thought that was super pretty I meant to give my friend one of these but I couldn't like open them at the time super excited for these like I said Burlington is one of my favorite places to get jewelry from I have a few other things in here that I actually got from forever 21 that I forgot to mention that other video that I did but I picked up some jewelry from there too they have great sets of rings like little mini rings that are like teeny tiny so if you can never really find mini rings to put like at the top of your fingers forever 21 has some great packs and they have so many on them this one was only five dollars and ninety cents so great value. i already took all the little mini or ones off but i got them in gold and silver and then i picked up some earrings i think my friend got the same ones because these are super lightweight and that's what she was looking for so i was like i'm just gonna copy you because you know what to do. This is just like a rose gold pair of hoops. This is only $2.90. Sometimes Forever 21 jewelry is a little bit overpriced than what I would like to pay for them, but they're still obviously super affordable. And then, you guys, the last thing that I got from Burlington Co. Factory, I'm super excited for. I got some of the Fenty Puma Fenty by Rihanna slides. You guys, and when I got these, I saw these in like the darker, like black kind of color, but my friend said they look dirty, so I didn't get those, and now I really want those. So, I'm going to be on like a crazy hunt around to all of the Burlingtons that I can ever find in my life to look for those shoes, because they were probably there in my size, but I didn't look through them because she was like, no, Anna, those look dirty, and now I want them so bad, but these actually come with a little bag that's like wrapped up in them so this bag is super cute also it's just like a velvety bag and it says Fenty on it how cute is that and then like you can put your slides in it and it just like cinches closed so that's the bag they come with I'm obsessed with these when I saw these at first I saw that they said Puma on them but I didn't realize they were Fenty I don't know if it's because I didn't really look at that bag when I was there in the store, but I didn't see that it was Fenty, but it's actually on the outside, and I know you're not going to be able to see it from here, but it says Fenty by Rihanna, like etched right here in the side, so. These were only, you guys, $17.99. I paid $18 for this, and they say comparable value is $65, but I think these were actually like $90 when they came out, so... Super excited for this. I've been trying to find ones on Poshmark also that maybe other people have gotten, but they still want to sell them for like $50. And I'm like, girl, no. I can get them for $18 if I ever find them again, which I probably won't. That is everything for this haul for all of my TJ Maxx and Burlington Coat Factory. Well, it's just Burlington now. Burlington finds. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything that I haven't mentioned yet that you guys are maybe on the hunt for or that you've already found. And make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you do want to see some more of my TJ Maxx and Marshall's Get Ready With Me videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you've hit the bell notification and you've clicked off that you want all of my videos notified to you so that you can see when I post new videos and you guys don't miss out on anything. So I'm super hungry. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Muchisimas gracias. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.